S11, or forward reflection coefficient, allows engineers to quickly visualize and measure their component's response on a Smith chart and polar plane while measuring their component's magnitude and SWR. I've already gone ahead and calibrated our spectrum analyzer so that it's set up for S11 measurements and is ready to measure our antenna. I've got our frequency range set from 1.75 gigahertz with a, with a center frequency and a span of 500 megahertz. And then there's a couple things that we can do within the S11 measurements. So the first thing that we can do is, if we make certain we're in trace one, we can go ahead and look at our Smith chart. We can expand that out so we can see more of it. And then within here, we can go into our marker. And then we can move our marker to show us our near short circuit point on our signal and what frequency that's at. We can also then, if we deselect this, we can then go ahead and use our exact same marker. We can change over to trace number four, which is our SWR measurement. And we can go ahead and look at the marker there as well. And we can use that to measure our SWR response over our frequency range. So we can see this antenna has an SWR of 1.36, 1.37, at a frequency range of 1.55 gigahertz. The next thing that we can do is we've got a couple different views that we can look at. We're going to look at our trace number two here in our lower left-hand corner. I'll expand that out. We can go within our trace and we can look at our log mag, our phase response. Then we had our group delay up. And then we've got our Smith chart and polar plane, which we're already up our natural log mag and our SWR. And then finally, we can view our real components over frequency. And then we can also look at our imaginary component over frequency and use that to also get a better understanding of our RF component that we're examining. 